Hello everybody, it's me, welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at Antenna Flight. Now, I have always really liked Antenna Flight. Actually, when it first got quick thinking, I was committed to using it in the official Wish Z tournament. And then I ended up never actually using it because Clangatang was like super freaking popular. So I was never able to actually use Antenna Flight. And then once the printing printing uh, got added and then it got access to some pretty nice moves, but I never ended up getting around to showcasing it. And I'm just gonna say this now, I'm very disappointed in myself that I made that Imperial Flame showcase yesterday. One of my lowest moments, but anyway. Here I got magic attack and speed with the hidden tray Guaz. I think it's Guaz or Guaze, whatever the heck. This doodle gets cured of any status effects when it switches out. So essentially I can be a status sponge, switch in, take the status, switch out, and we are all good to go. I also have the delicate wing because I don't really care about what item I'm using because in general I'm just gonna be able to still do good damage with my quick thinkings. <clears throat> and with my moves, I have quick thinking, web ball, airstrike, and the reason why I want to showcase it, Earth Surge. And Kling and Tang used to be able to wall this thing. <clears throat> Metal types walled this thing. Not after Earth Surge. After one quick thinking, you're able to do a lot of damage, especially with your Earth Surge, with like, I think 105 range attack? Antenafly was actually the old worst doodle in the entire game, and now I don't really know what exactly holds that title right now, but whatever it is, I don't think it's Antenafly anymore. I think Antenafly is honestly pretty solid with quick thinking. It's basically Dragon Dance, but range attack instead of melee attack. Web Ball is nice. Air Strike is fine. I think it definitely needs a better air stab, unless it has a better air stab right now, and I'm just using air strike because I'm dumb. Very possible chance. Very good chance about that. But I checked the wiki, and it didn't say anything, so it could be lying to me. And then Earth Surge, of course, is our coverage move, which is able to hit the fire types, the metal types, crystal types, and poison types. Earth Surge is like the perfect move for Antenna Flight, and it's honestly going to be very, very solid. Though things like Range Defensive Skadeen can still be a little bit of a problem for you to deal with, because you don't actually hit those things very hard. And with equipments, I have Marshmallow, Helpful, and Luminous. I didn't really know what to use on Antenna Flight, because I don't use it very often. This seemed fine. I didn't want to go with Pale Sunbonnet, because, <clears throat> you know, I don't need the speed. And I didn't want to go... I guess you could go Sapphire if you wanted to. I didn't want to go Dark Brooch, because I maybe want a little bit of speed to outspeed some certain things but yeah overall <clears throat> i am pretty excited hopefully you guys are as well and let's honestly let's see how strong antenna flight is it's off in the first battle dude it literally took me like five minutes to get into this one freaking battle antenna flight pretty good here i'm not gonna lie we're able to hit the luma line incinalisk you you oh, hold up wait a minute this seemed pretty good Pretty, pretty strong here. I think he's able to put in some good damage, honestly. 175 at plus one is nothing to sneeze at. That is as strong as Malzuri neutrally. By, by one. Shut up. It's by one. A Wolf Freeze lead? Lumi. <laughs> by, unless it's like Nightlight and then I just get wrecked. Actually, no, I, I always click Days because it's my stronger. It's not the stronger move. Watch him go Mascomedy. <clears throat> You ain't going mass comedy because you're not dumb, right? Laser. 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 Laser? Laser! Why would you click laser? You have Aurora Flash. The only move to get right now. Doesn't get Divine Light yet. Okay. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna let me hit the one thing I need to kill someone ten of like oh it's probably quick ice will freeze. Uh that was also another issue with using uh in of in the past is like if you ended up actually killing their clang tank, they have they would literally always have a wolf freeze in the back. You have no idea. Every battle you fought in the Wish Z tournament, if you were fighting a good player, they had Metacro, Clangatang, Wolf Freeze, and then three others. That was it. Sometimes it was a Taruma over Clangatang, you know? You'd have a Wall Breaker. It was, yeah, you may, you might even fought Incinalisks, Abyssins were everywhere, Archipost was everywhere. 
that was a fun time. There was like an established thing, stuff you would use, and you'd see a lot of variations of it. But now, you can just spam as the noxious. And, oh no. Are you gonna flashbang me? <clears throat> do it. Kill me. Right here. Just do it. 30 base power move. I have 62 health. Super effective. You have 140 magic attack. Just do it. Do it! Just hit me. I need to be slapped. Hello. It's not that difficult of a move to click. If you have flashbang... Unless you're awakened and then you reverse singularity, then I just get swept in three moves. Even then, Dark Slash is doing way more than I need. Sir? Hello? What was the plan exactly? Is Hentrum just gonna win? <laughs> oh no. Oh, please tell me I can kill this. I don't even think I'll get an opportunity. I don't even have an opportunity to set up with antenna flight anymore. I didn't even really get an opportunity to do that this game either way. Like, I didn't even have any chance to set up. Bye, Hentrum. <clears throat> and I still forgot Thunderstrike, but it's fine. If this doesn't kill, I, I, I blame all of you for not reminding me. No, I know. I, I read the comments. Everyone's reminding me to give this thing Thunderstrike. I just keep forgetting to. Okay. Why am I faster than you? Why did I crit you? Why is it dead? <clears throat> I mean, I guess if we could get the Magma Toad low, there's a decent chance in Ten of I can actually take out the Meltamaw, seeing as my tattoo outsped the Wolverines with eggshell helmet and no speed investment. Actually, let's say your mantle harmony and then quick thinking after I hit ran. There are options and options and options. And I think I'm gonna go with this option. <clears throat> I am vulnerable. At least it's not para. Alright. Can I hit my harmony? Do I outspeed the... No. I was gonna say, if I outspeed the Springling, that'd be pretty nice. Electrobite. Woohoo! Alright, let's see. Can Antenna Flight win the game? I don't think it kills Magneto. Magneto's too bulky. ears bitten off on this skin. This is the Halloween one. I've really not used Intentifight in a while. Whoa. Okay. Quick thinking. And oh, we win. Last time I fought an Intentifight, I think it was when I was using Exiled. I, it might it. I know it was like when I had Exiled and I was fighting that one Intentifight. I just like just crossed my mind. Uh, bye. <clears throat> what am I at? Plus one with 175. That's 50% of that. Six, I don't want to math right now. That's not even a difficult math thing, is it? That's like 88.5, right? N no. It's 87.5. So 87.5 plus 175. Uh, 160... No, 172.5? No, 272.5. <clears throat> no, that is not it. 200 and 60. No, dude, what's going on? Is it 160, 262? I think it's 262. I'd have to, that did one shot. I, that's not, realistically, that's never going to one shot. Hold on, I'm very curious now. So... Um, let's see, 50% of 100, or, <clears throat> hey Siri, what's 50% of 175? It, I, it was 87.5, so, hey Siri, what's 175 plus 87.5? Oh, I was right, 262, let's go! 
Okay, let's analyze this team together. <clears throat> wow, we hit three things super effectively. The rest we hit neutrally. So, this could go pretty well. We could go early game damage or late game damage. It's up to what we want to do. I'm worried about the Wolf Freeze lead. <clears throat> Jalepi's fine. I don't want to get taked out, though. It's my only problem here, so I'm going to go with Voltatu because I'm not going to get taken out. Did fight it. Ugh. Got this, man. You can speak. <clears throat> yeah, take out comes out. Unfortunate. That is probably a Cryo Terra that comes in. Oh! Nice. Get the Electrocute. Huge. And the chip. So they are now completely paralyzed. Huge. And now. It's either Wolf Freeze or Cryo Terra. I don't see anything else come. Oh. Th that didn't get like Venom Lacerator or anything, right? I'm not missing something. <clears throat> what are you doing exactly? I'm very curious. Are you gonna like. Bur oh, your cloak? <clears throat> yeah, he's Cursed Cloak. I have not seen a Cursed Cloak pop up before. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I don't really need my psychic thorns here. It's appreciated, but I don't really need it. <clears throat> if I. Dude, my typeless resist doesn't really exist. Let me see how fast you're 122. If, okay. You have to be 40 speed under. If I sack this off immediately, I don't really care because there's not a Rotera, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> I'll just get damage. There's also a chance it gets parried as well. Huge crit. It's a very, very nice crit. Yeah, there's the parry. The double parry is nice. <clears throat> and now we can go Springling, which Leaf Blade is entirely free. Jalopy, I don't actually think, wants to come in and tank a Leaf Blade. I don't believe Jalopy would want to come in. And you could save Palpabore later if you want to deal with Malzuri or if you want to clumsy swing it. So you could switch if you wanted to, though there's not really any point to, because Jalopy would take too much, and I don't think it wants to take more than one. Even then, it can't even hit me that hard. I have to Iron Slash or a Mineral Cannon. Even then, I get to go into Malzuri, which then if he cooks take out. <clears throat> I just, okay, so I was on my phone just now. Apparently, I opened up my texting app. And then I was doing a voice recording of the last, like, four minutes. Oh. Okay, there's a Wolf Freeze. It didn't get its boost. It didn't say Rush. I'm assuming you're going to Ferocious Onslaught. Because I doubt you're going to click an, I an Ice move when I have Malzuri on the field. So, realistically, you do click the Ferocious Onslaught. <clears throat> Yeah, you have no reason not to. The crunch, which is totally fine. That is very irritating when that just happened. <clears throat> not gonna lie. Now they get to crunch again, get me down to my A in health, and then I get my plus one defense and I get to over pulse. Which is pretty free to play. <clears throat> The reason I click Opal is, here's how it goes in my head. If I click Crystal Armor, Opal Pulse becomes neutral. If it's neutral, it becomes super effective. If it's super effective, it becomes quad effective. If it's quad effective, it becomes eight times effective. So I don't think it kills because I'm at plus one. Yeah, beautiful. Opal Pulse comes out and I should hopefully get half. Okay, nice, that's what I wanted. <clears throat> well, that's very, very scary that that just happened because if he didn't get the minus one, I would have been able to click Crystal Armor either way, but he got a 20% chance, which really, really sucks for me. <clears throat> I guess I just pursued it. This is a very scary game now. This is a very scary game seeing the Cryoterra in the back. I would really, really need Henshim alive to deal with that. I think I click Days here. <clears throat> Your only switch is Hatricks, and then realistically I can just go Springling, and if you're Awakened, I can go Grimantle, then I get to Harmony, then I get to Switch, and then I can go maybe. I, I think I just always click Days. Unless he thinks I'm gonna Pursuit, and he's like, I'm just gonna get damage, because, oh, he actually doesn't. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there went the actual scariest thing he had, just dead. Okay. <laughs> nice. We'll take it. I don't really know why you did that. That was just an entirely free kill. And you underspeed me now, because I refuse to believe you have below 160 speed. I, I'm 100% sure you're below 160 speed. I don't think you're, you're above it. <clears throat> yeah, the para from earlier is helping us out here. Hensham going crazy. Antenna flight? I don't know what I can... I would need to harmony something with Grimantle than go Antenna. And he made a very, very weird play. Yeah, if I can maybe go Grimantle, if they, uh... I would assume they Aurora, if they have it. And I'm assuming this is their Awakened, or it's Cryoterra. <clears throat> that is fine. Generally, I just... I really want to get the Antenna Flight to do something, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. <sighs> That's kind of sad. I mean, there's always a chance Antenna Flight could maybe outspeed Hatrix, but I severely doubt it at this point. I think I just go Henchum. I think I just sack. I actually think I just sack off the antenna flight. We'll freeze. I can just quick strike unless it's quick ice. <clears throat> My dark slash should be doing enough here. Quota cold is only going to do about to here, I would assume. Like about, about to the, where this says one. On my 189. 186, not 189. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still kind of dying. I've been having like congestion and it's just not not working ah <sighs> i don't like congestion i know people have had congestion and it's not fun why i don't understand why you're trying to keep that around i mean you're gonna go and yeah 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 i mean that's not obvious. I mean, that's pretty obvious, I should say. <clears throat> what are you clicking? I assume... No, you're gonna go for the close combat. And it would do about to here. And even then, I'm ha I am have enough health to kill the Hatrix. Oh, you're not the actual move that you need to use. You're not unguarded strike. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'll go antenna now. <clears throat> oh, it could be Bulwark. Shoot, if it's Bulwark, I think I lost. Yeah, if it's Bulwark, I think I lose the game. No, I think Springling's Quick Strike would actually have to kill the Hatrix if I want to win the game. <clears throat> oh, never mind. I was going to say, like, if this is Bulwark, we lost. Because I couldn't risk going for the Quick Strike on Springling. Because if, if it was Bulwark, we'd lose immediately. So, Intenafly actually managing to take an attack. And if you are Sunbonnet there... We died, so that's exactly why we are not Sunbonnet. <clears throat> I'm curious if Springling's Quick Strike actually takes it down. It has a lot of attack, so very good chance it does. <clears throat> I like this Springling set much more than my old one, because I might not be as speedy, but I'm still able to throw out extremely strong Quick Strikes. It's just a lot stronger moves in general. Yeah, it does take it out. <clears throat> good game. Good, good game. Anyway, that was a pretty good game. Didn't use the antenna flight as much as I wanted to because it was a little bit weaker, but still does some pretty good work. Now this, my friends, is an unfortunate moment. Rotera leads my prediction, but they have a polar geist, so this is going. Oh, this potentially did. did. <coughs> Speak. Blah, blah. Okay, but they have a polar geist, which is able to completely stop our antenna flight, even to get a plus one speed. Which honestly, we could do some pretty good work. We hit. Uh, please don't tell me. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I mean, I can kill you with a quick strike now, and you're switching to that as Polar Geist, so then I can go Malzuri. Yeah, quick strike kills you, and if you go Polar Geist, I'll just go Malzuri, and I actually could go Henchman Pursuit Trap it. That's what I'll do. Actually, yeah, do that. Oh, no, you just let it die. Okay. <clears throat> nice. They need this kill. They need the kill on the little tattoo to open up the Rotera to win the game. That's their plan right now. Probably gonna go Rotera here. Oh, please tell me you click it. Oh, please tell me you code a cold. Oh, that's huge. <clears throat> 
all that needs to happen now is we don't get a 10% chance. All that happens now, we don't get a 10% chance to be frozen. Yeah, perfect, okay, perfect. Nice! And now we open up, we in, have entirely opened up, um, we've entirely opened up the <clears throat> uh, antenna flight to just win the game, because now it doesn't have any health. Now we always go Wanda, and that's two kills. Uh, not that much lost, honestly. Uh, realistically, to try to save, I mean, you have no reason to save this, you just click Feral, which does nothing. Now, assuming you probably go... Okay. They're trying to keep me... They're trying to get Voltatu damage right now. That's what they're trying to do. I honestly think my best play is to go for Mantle and tank Piercing Ice. They're, they want to get as much damage as they can on Voltatu. Okay, they're lethal. Yeah, I don't live Piercing then. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I can live Piercing and... Then I could just harmony and we're good. Oh, I did live. Can I harmony hit it? Can I hit it? Can I hit it? Oh, okay. That really sucks, actually. That may have actually just lost the game. Because I am greedy and went for it. Yeah, no, I just lost to the... To this, because I got greedy. <clears throat> He'd have to not have Quick Sting. The only chance is if he doesn't have Quick Sting. But he probably does. I'm assuming you have Quick Sting. You're just going to click it here. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's game. I, I can't, I can't win now. Well, Tattoo would have to live a Piercing Ice, which it can't. Not at this range. Okay. I have learned my lesson to not... Oh, wait, there's a Clangatang. Okay, now, all we need to do is harmony something, switch, and then click quick thinking. So I'll have 262 magic attack, and then what's half of this? Like, 169.5? No, I think it's just oh, 69 is half of that pretty sure that's just 69 <clears throat> um i mean i'm gonna go with this lead in case you're hitting runs up we're lead playing okay i feel like my play is to i mean i feel like i just hit and run every time i doubt you want to stay in try elemental doesn't do enough and i get to go into the I just get to go into Hencham afterward and just throw out a good move. <clears throat> As they go into- that is not a switch that you want to make. <laughs> but if every switch you had, that may have been the worst one. No wait, that was the worst one. <clears throat> Give me a quick strike here. That's just to kill on the Humbiscus, which was the one thing threatening the antenna flight from going crazy. So now, if we can get it on the field, and quick thinking we could be good to go I could honestly go Grimantle and attempt to set up on that but I don't think I can do that just yet I think I need a little bit of chip on the Incinilisk before I can do antenna flight stuff flame rattle alright got it um well your switch into rust is kelp and then I'm able to crystal armor if you plant sap Actually, no, I'd go Springling on the Plant Sap, right? To go Kelp. <clears throat> no, okay. I get Decent Chip there, and I get to go Voltatu here. He'll have his Riot Shield, though, so I'm gonna... Actually, I could die here. I actually think I could die here. The Riot Helicopter. Oh, and he's not Riot Shield. Okay. I was gonna say, like, with the Riot Shield, he would have been able to Lightning Kick and do enough damage to take me down. I feel like there, you would always Lightning Kick. Because I know I'm switching out, and the switch into Voltatu is obvious. So I feel like you always Lightning Kick to get the most damage with your Riot Shield. Because I, we saw earlier that it did 40% or 50-something percent. Uh, that's not a switch. You're probably awakened. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. 
I can go down. I don't really need this anymore. Both Zapuera and Hibiscus are dead. That should do some damage. Not a lot, though. Lingering. Ooh. Oh, what I don't like is... Actually, what I'm going to do... I think I'm going to Shock Therapy. And then once I heal, he's going to hit me. Do 50%. See that he can kill me, right? And then I get to Shifting Winds and safely get rid of this stuff. <clears throat> Then I shifting. Safely get rid of the hazards. And if he goes for the kill. Yeah, he goes for kill. And then I go down, but the hazards are now gone. So Nintendo Flight's an easier switch. Though it does have Guaz, it's not that worth it to just switch it in and switch out. Because then I'm going to get the poison anyway. So I had to get rid of the poison there. And that was my best way of doing that. And now, realistically, you would go... Really, you go kelp and try to save the Mothra to deal with the Springling easier. Because Incinelisk is fine to deal with it, but it's definitely not enough. In my opinion, I don't think Incinelisk is enough. As I go into that, okay, and this is where I can go Grimantle. And this is where I can go for my setup <clears throat> with Antenna. Did I actually go for a switch into what? Okay, wait, this is fine as well. <clears throat> this is entirely fine. This is a really good situation for me to just click my Harmony. If I can actually, I'd rather out underspeed him there. Because now it comes down to will he get a three turn sleep or not? You know, that's what it comes down to right now. Does he get the three turn sleep or no? I go antenna though every time. Now, like, we go. We can either Earth Surge or we can Quick Thinking. Which, if it's Curse Cloak. Oh, it's not. Okay, so we gotta rely on three turn sleep here. If we get the three turn sleep, we get to get the KO on Clang Tank easier. And then not have Malzuri just get the last few kills. So it's up to if he gets three turns sleep. Let's see. <clears throat> he, oh my god, he did. Okay. I don't think this... This actually might kill. What, 80 health? Something... 50-something like range defense? Earth Surge should be a good kill. I think it should kill. Nice. Okay, beautiful. If that was Cloak, if that was Cloak, it lived. And then we just Earth Surged. And then we didn't even try to quit thinking we just Earth Surged if it was. This is probably Curse Cloak, so we are going to end up going down here, but our Earth Surge is nice either way. We get a good chip on it. <clears throat> Do I live that? <laughs> I saw the flame rat, I was like, wait, I totally live that, don't I? I'm going to web ball. <clears throat> One thing nice about Antenna Flight is how it can wall other bug types. Besides the two most popular ones. <clears throat> Actually... It, it does good against fighting types, too. Alright, and we get to web ball again, which is huge damage thanks to our insect wing. Which, look at that damage. Huge. <clears throat> Honestly, if you can get a good counter lead, and Tenef like could be a really good early game damage dealer. Like, we did so much to Incense, so much to Clang, and so much to Kelp with just those moves. You know, like, we one-shot Clang, did a lot to Incense, and did, like, 70% to Kelp. And I think... <clears throat> That's really, really worth it on something in the early game. Bruh, I went to do the outro, and then I just see, like, a huge demon, and I really freaking... That's so cool. That's really, really cool. But regardless, hopefully that you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It is very helpful. But, I'm not gonna lie, man. Nintendo Fight really was not that bad. I definitely feel like I could have used it a little bit better, I, I feel like at any point in the game, if you can get one quick thinking up with Antenna Flight, <clears throat> your enemies are in a scary spot. Its best counter in the entire game is, I think, it's going to be the Mothra. Mothra Awakened. That's the best defensive counter. The best offensive one is probably Polar Geist, because it, or Humbiscus, depending on what Humbiscus set you're running. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see everyone in the next one. I'll probably give it a 6 out of 10. And I'll see everyone later. Bye!